Hi everybody, it's Miss Carrie from Bridgeville and South Fayette Township Libraries and it's time for Treat Yourself Fridays. And what we're doing today is making circuit Valentine's Day cards. So just so you know, there are kits available at the library for you to make your own circuit card. So make sure to check those out and take them home and make some awesome stuff. But let's see what you'll need. All right, so what you're going to get in your kit, you're going to get a 2032 battery. What you need to know about this is that there's a positive and there's a negative side to all of these coin cell batteries. This is really important because you need to know for the circuit to work, which one is positive because you need to connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. So as you can see, there is a plus sign on this battery. That means that that's the positive side. So this top side with all of the writing on it, that is the positive side. And if you flip it over, this is the negative side of the battery that you're going to get. You're also going to get one little LED sticker. So this, again, to know about this, the larger part right here, see the plus? That means that's the positive part, this longer side. And this top part is the negative side. So you need to make sure that the negative to the battery, to your LED is connected. And you need to make sure that the positive as well on your sticker to your coin cell battery are connected as well. So I'm gonna put those off to the side. I already started drawing what I was going to do. I actually, um, I'm not going to lie, I found this little design on um, Instructables and I thought it was really cute and my husband is going to love it. So that's why I chose this. For the card, you're going to be getting white cardstock. I have blue cardstock at home, so I use that. Um, so the way that you wanna start this is drawing out your design first. And you wanna make sure that your lines for your negative and your positive aren't going to connect. So I know that I'm going to have a negative here, all right? Because you can see my lines connecting to it. So that's going to be where my negative part is. And then I have a positive up here. So this part of my drawing is going to go down to where the negative portion is. And the top part is going to be where my positive is. So, <clears throat> and I took my coin cell battery, I put it off to the side, I drew a little circle around it so then I knew where it would be. And then I went like this to show where the um, other part of the circle would be. So this is where the positive line will be showing up. So the next part that I have to do is you're also going to get a circuit scribe pen in all of the kits. So this is actually conductive ink, which is really cool. And typically you get things like conductive tape or anything like that, but there are so many different forms of ways of making circuits that I thought it would be really cool to, to share this with you. And what's nice is that the, um, the ink is silver. So I'm just going to draw my circuit around and um, around first and not connect them. And then I'm probably going to make the lines up here a little bit bigger and um, for the heart, okay? And the other thing that you wanna be careful about is that because the ink is not dry, you can see it up here, it will smear. So you wanna be careful about where you're placing your hand and other things like that, especially around where the um, circuit parts are. So then they don't meet like this guy and this guy. I don't want, I don't want those to ever meet because then it'll totally mess up my um, wiring for this and then it won't work. So now I'm gonna make my lines a little bit thicker so then there's more um, 
It will make it more conductive. Oh, and the other thing that you want to know is you want to make sure that the, the dots where you're going to have your battery are fully there. So you want to, you want to fill in those circles. Okay, so once you get your lines to the thickness that you want and you make sure that they're, um, that they're filled in as, as much as you can get, you wanna let it dry. So I'm letting my ink dry for a little bit and then I'm going to start putting on my sticker and I'm going to test it out. Okay, so I am going to take my little LED sticker um, and also just giving a heads up, it will be blue. That's what the B stands for. You might have a Y for yellow and you might have a R for red. I'm gonna put it on my guys the way that I want it. And what you're gonna do to make that link is you are going to draw onto, see how I'm drawing the circuit onto my guy. Great, and I'm going to let that dry. So then my circuit will be complete. And that's the other thing is that everything has to be completely dry in order for the circuit to work. If it isn't dry, it's not going to turn on. And see, my circuit's complete. The paint is dry or the ink is dry. And if you want this to stay, you're also going to get a paper clip in your, in your um, kit. So then you can just get it to clip like that and then you have a happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day card. If you ever want the circuit to be broken, all you have to do is take the paper clip off and it will stop and then you can save your battery for later or whoever you gave your awesome Valentine's Day card to. So um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and enjoy your awesome kits. And I will see you next week for our mug, our mug recipe, sugar cookies. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.